your sexuality has been a focus of tremendous attention yeah. in Great Britain. Yeah. Well, I think everywhere. I think to some degree with um, pop stars or film stars, um, they, we become the object of people's uh, self-definition as well as the object of you know, sexual definition. I think people like to think they can spot a gay person as opposed to a straight person because it makes them feel something a little bit, in some way, a little more defined in themselves. And if someone kind of is on the borderline, which I've always considered myself in terms of the way I appear to people. You mean on ambiguous? The way, ambiguous, something. yeah. I think um, while it, may, it works very successfully in pop culture because it means, especially if you're trying to communicate something emotional or sexual, that you're communicating with both men and women. And I think there's a reason that certain people, um, there's a basic reason that certain people are uh, attracted to those ambiguous types. And that's because those ambiguous types are probably attracted to them. But you want all, in, in the sense of all of them. And, and my sexuality was not cut and dry. I, um, I spent the first half of my career um, being accused of being gay when I hadn't had anything like a, a, a gay relationship. And in fact, I was 27 before um, that happened to me. So I spent my, my years growing up being told what my sexuality was really, you know, um, which was quite, kind of confusing. And then by the time I'd kind of worked out what it was and I'd stopped having relationships with women, um, I was just so indignant at the way I'd been treated until then. I was just thought, well, I'll just hold on to this. I don't think they need to know. I don't think I should have to tell them. Um, but, you know, this is as good a time as any. So in unambiguous terms, what is it that you want to say? Uh, I want to say that I have no problem with people knowing that I, uh, I have a I'm in a relationship with a man right now. I have not been in a relationship with a woman for almost 10 years. Um, I do want people to know that the songs that I wrote when I was with, with women were really about women, and the songs that I've written since have been fairly obviously about men. So I think in terms of my work, I've never been reticent to, in terms of um, defining my sexuality. I, I write about my life. And I want people to know, especially people who loved the earlier stuff, especially if they were young girls at the time, whatever, there was no bull there, you know. George, was, why do you feel compelled to open up a very private part of your life and make it so public? Well, I feel because I've kind of done that, haven't I? You know, I've done that in a way that I didn't really intend to. And I think having, having done something as stupid as that, I'm, you know, I'm a very proud man. I want people to know that I have not been exposed as a gay man in any way that I feel, um, uh, I don't feel any shame for, I feel stupid and I feel reckless and weak for having um, allowed my sexuality to be, be exposed this way. But I don't feel any shame whatsoever and neither do I think I should.